What kind of other questions do you get from customers? Yeah, so sometimes they're, they're comparing XRF or Libs. Okay. So what would you say to them if they're, if they're looking at the two different analyzers? I would tell them, first of all, I'd say if you have to do carbon, you gotta, Libs is the only choice because X-ray won't measure it. Right. I would also say if, if, unless there's a reason you don't want X-rays, if you can use X-ray, you should use it because it's, X-ray is much easier to use, mm -hmm. um, much lower level of operator training. You really don't need nearly the level of sample prep. It's just easier all around. Uh -huh. So I would say to people, if you can use X-ray, use it, but for carbon, it just doesn't measure it. So you gotta, you gotta go to an optical technology like Libs. Gotcha. And if they only need to measure carbon? Well, you know, we came, we've come out with, this, with another unit, let's call it the, um, the sister to this unit. It's called the CSI. CSI stands for carbon silicon. So, so it's a smaller, so this is really lightweight. I mean, compared to OES, this thing's only four, four pounds or so. Right, right. But we have, a, uh, we have a smaller unit that's only about three and a half pounds called the CSI, and it only measures carbon and silicon. And the reason we came out with that is because there's a lot of people with X-ray guns out there. Right, right. And X-ray does great on your nickel and your chromium and your manganese and all, your, uh, all those other elements. It's really a great technology. But so you have a lot of these people that have X-ray guns, but sometimes they have to do carbon, and the X-ray doesn't do carbon. So what we say to them is, look, instead of having to buy a fully loaded carbon unit, why don't you save 10 or f about you know, 10 or 12,000 bucks buy a carbon only unit or carbon and silicon. Mm -hmm. So now what they do is they go out with their x-ray to shoot it. If they need carbon, they take the CSI unit and shoot it for carbon. Right. And um, then we can merge the data. So, so it's like a purpose-built model. Exactly, yeah. So you know, then they can save some money, get their carbon measurements in, um, and only take on the greater deg degree of complexity when they're measuring carbon. Gotcha. So does that make sense? Yeah, it yeah. makes sense.